Oh no! Dang it, they did it again! Something cool in Pokemon got leaked. By now, most of you are well aware of Alolan Raichu, which was leaked yesterday before what I assume was originally an announcement planned for the 12th. Once again, it's a huge shame. When I see something that I didn't expect, I get genuinely surprised and happy. But if I see something that's been in a leak before, it's like, oh yeah, I saw that on the internet already. Wasn't sure if it was legit or not, but I guess it was this time. Thanks to RC Omni, I'll never be able to see another leak at face value no matter how legit it looks, but it doesn't make information leaks any less unexciting. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the new details from this trailer that weren't in the Koro Koro sweep a few days ago. The big one is the leaked but legit psychic and electric surfing Raichu. Look at you go, Marty McFly. As you guys saw in my top 10 potential Mega Evolutions video, I am more than ready for Raichu to receive a return to the spotlight. Pikachu already gets plenty. I wouldn't even be surprised if there's no Alolan Pikachu, but there is an Alolan Raichu. The brand new Surge Surfer ability is essentially the electric type swift swim, doubling your speed in electric terrain. The psychic typing was unexpected, but I love the callback to the many ways that we've seen a surfing Pikachu over the years from the Pokemon games, cards, and anime. The electric psychic typing is completely new and reminds me of my very first Pokemon theme deck, Zap. I know some people are split on this one, but I'm personally a huge fan. Also revealing Koro Koro, but not uncovered in time for my last video, is Puka Muku. Oh man, I hope I'm saying that right. A Pokemon based on the sea cucumber with the ability to attack with its innards. For some reason, I don't think it's gross when a sea cucumber does it, but when it's a creature with a face and a personality, ugh, that's its innards. The Innards Out ability gives you a final punch when you're knocked out that does as much damage as you were dealt in the final blow. A lot of abilities in this game seem to be focused around HP effects, and I really like that. We also have this little guy, a Pokemon I may never be able to call by its correct name. I know it's based in the Moral Mushroom, but every time I look at this text, all I see is more lol. We've had a handful of fungal Pokemon in the past, so I'm not especially excited for this one. And finally, in new info about the Pokémon themselves, we got English names for the fish Pokémon and its abilities from Koro Koro. The school fish Pokémon is officially wishy-washy, and its amazing form change ability is called Schooling. When forming up, wishy-washy grows from 8 inches to a massive 26 feet. According to the website, even Gyarados flee from this form, which is hilarious. Also shown was a lot more footage of Team Skull. I love them in the blurry Koro Koro photo, and I love them even more in motion. If the music playing in their trailer is their theme, my god, I am sold. Just listen to this. The hip-hop feel, the lyrics, this sounds like something directly out of The World Ends With You. Guzma talked to the professor in a quick scene about how neither of them could become a champion, revealing a big underdog theme that I'm excited to see play out in the games. That's all from this block of Sun and Moon news, but man, when are they going to give us some time to breathe? Not including ability changes, we have seen now 45 different Pokémon from this generation. And as that one mom told that one kid in that one movie that one time... Save some room for later! That's all for today's news, but as always, you can subscribe right here to follow the channel and see more content about all things Pokémon Sun and Moon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with more Nintendo content.